Good afternoon and welcome to the West Los Angeles College SLO workshop on the SLO cycle. This is the SLO cycle and how to approach it. We always start the uh, workshops off with a funny little question. Uh, we all know how much you love your SLOs and how much you love to jump into this work. I always um, approach it with um, uh, the, the view of this is an ongoing assessment. I'm always assessing my courses. I'm always thinking about the class. I'm always thinking about how we can do better at the course. So uh, I start assessing on the first day. I open up my assessment tool. I have it on my desk, my office. After the first day of class, I come back. I look at my, uh, open up the tool and I kind of take a look at it. And I, and I view it consistently throughout the semester. Okay. But uh, for the most part, we don't like doing this work. Um, most of us are going to say, hey, I'd rather go see the dentist than actually do the assessment. Because we tend to think about it as something that happens later on and uh, it takes too much time. Actually, if you're assessing routinely and you're always looking at your assessment forms uh, and keep those up on your desktop, it's, uh, it's, it's a lot easier than it actually seems. So these are statements. The outcomes are statements describe what we expect our students to know at the end of the course. They're going to walk away with this knowledge. And we have a brand new website. Uh, this is something that we've been working on actively for the last couple of months. This is going to be new to a lot of you. Uh, the link is right here. And why don't we take a quick peek at it for the first time. There we go. Brand new look. As you can tell, uh, a lot has changed from our old SLO webpage. Over on the left, you've got your forms and reports and also some resources that you can view. The forms and reports are statistics of where we stand right now at West with, uh, with the assessment process, where we are. Uh, other things that you can see there as well. But the main reason you'll come to the page is to actually look at the SLOs for your division. And we have uh, this area here, program SLOs, where we can see just about everything everything that the college offers on campus. And a list of the nine institutional SLOs as well. Well, let's take a peek real quick at our program SLOs. And these are by degree. I want to draw your attention to a link a little bit further on down the page. As you scroll down to the language arts uh, division, you can then click on the discipline for English. And the example that I wanted to show you is a pretty good example of um, the outcomes. Uh, on the right hand side you'll see that this division, uh, this discipline has seven outcomes that have been created. The first one being pursue continued literary interests resulting in increased levels of self-reliance and belief in one's ability. And that's part of the writing effectively theme under self-reliance slash writing. Over on the left hand side of this document you'll have even a little bit more information about specifically what's going on uh, as far as the objectives and the skills uh, that the students will possess. Also, you'll see in the middle of this document the assessment tasks that are directly related to the outcomes that you're looking for. So, we're going to talk about the cycle. This is the main purpose of the, uh, of the workshop today. The three semester cycle, okay? We assess on a three semester cycle here at West. So the first semester, we're actually teaching. At the end of the semester, we assess. Although, we're assessing always, we're always assessing. So on the first day of class, as I said, I usually open up my assessment form, I have it on my desktop, and I, I look at that, and I look at that daily. So I'm always assessing my course. By the end of the semester, my, my, my form is done. So. For me, assessment is, is, is that easy. All right, so courses are revised in semester two. Once we teach the course, we assess at the end. That's uh, semester one. Semester two, we have our dialogue. Uh, this is the dialogue that goes on uh, in the division with all of the, uh, all of the uh, instructors of that course or those courses that were up for uh, assessment review in that semester, okay? There's dialogue that goes on. You'll be collaborating, looking at the assessments, 
what did you do, here's what I did, and that discussion will give you the results that you're looking for for the third semester, which is the changes that you make. So course changes are implemented in semester three. Okay, you're looking at uh, a diagram here for uh, the SLO process at West. Cute little CSI uh, diagram. I want to thank Kel Stone who, uh, who, who put this diagram together for us. So this is continuous and sustained improvement, SLO course assessment and revision cycle. It's a way for you to see really how it works in semester one. We're teaching it, as, as I said, um, and then we're assessing at the end and then in the next semester, the dialogue, uh, the collaboration with your colleagues is going on. And then in semester three, we're actually implementing those changes that we made. Okay. So courses are taught and assessed, semester one, revised in semester two, after dialogue has taken place, and then the implementation in semester three. going to be using the new uh, Student Learning Outcomes tool, which again, on the web page, you're able to download. A course assessment calendar is the way that you will know which course is up for assessment. The question happens, comes quite often, uh, are we always assessing after we teach? Every single course we teach, are we assessing directly after? The answer to that is no. There is a course uh, assessment calendar, as I said, that is coming. And once you take a look at the calendar for your division, you'll know when that course comes up. So if you're assessing, let's say, English 101 in the spring, the next semester, you'll be, it'll be in phase two, then it'll go to phase three the next semester. And you may not see it again for a year and a half, two years. Uh, there's a cycle within a cycle. So if your division has 10 courses which are offered total, you might have three courses that are in uh, their first semester. They move on to the second, and then the next three come in, the next three come in after that. But all of the courses in the division would be finished within a three to four year cycle. So to answer the question, are we always assessing every single time we teach? The answer to that is no. Semester two, again, the dialogue. How are we going to modify courses? How are we going to look at our, our programs? How are we going to collaborate with each other? Semester three, again, simply the implementation of the changes that we've made. In closing, the SLO course assessment and revision process is an ongoing cycle that continuously improves course content and delivery methodologies and is part of a larger accreditation cycle that the college is engaged in. This sustained improvement process ensures that course content, delivery mechanisms, and exams yield the most up-to-date information and achieve the greatest degree of student success. I want to thank you for taking the time to come to the new West Los Angeles College website, the SLO website. And I also want to uh, take this opportunity to thank the SLO committee members that I've been working with for the last six months here at West, uh, helping out with everything from the diagrams to uh, tracking uh, to the forms uh, and the look of the web page and all the help that went into this. And that is uh, some of my colleagues, Mary Jo Apigo. I also want to thank Kel Stone and Joelle Samilton. Again, this is Todd Matosik, the West Los Angeles College SLO coordinator. Thank you for coming.